In today's video, we're gonna go over the new feature that Apple provides called Check-In, which is inside of the messaging app. The purpose of this feature is for kids, parents. We all know someone that we ask to, hey, call me whenever you get home so I know that you're safe, and they always forget to do so. Not that they are trying to do it on purpose, but they just simply forget because of whatever reason. With this new feature, Check-In, Apple takes all of that control and puts it into one particular feature that allows you to let someone know that you made it to a location even when you forget to do so. So without further ado, let's get into the feature. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go into the messaging app and select the person that you would like to check in with. For the sake of the video, we're gonna use my sister. You're gonna hit the plus icon at the very bottom left, select check in and this will pop up right here. Of course, in, within this, we're going to have to edit it, so I'm gonna edit it now. So for the check-in, the check-in location that I chose was the Mall of Louisiana down here in Baton Rouge. And okay, so while editing, I forgot to show you guys how to like change the location. I know there was a tab and we can change or search for anything with by just pressing the search bar right here. And of course, given the fact that we wanted to go to the Mall of Louisiana, there it is on the map right there. And you can change this grid to small so it'll notify the person whenever you get into this little bubble right here. Medium pretty much covers the entire mall and large will pretty much cover the parking lot area. Whenever you get into this bubble, what it's supposed to do is notify the person that you arrived to your location within the bubble. So that's large, medium, or small. As far as it says, it says it's an estimated travel time of 20 minutes. If I take the bus, it's gonna be an hour and 50 minutes. And if I was walking, it would take five hours and 20 minutes to get to this location. Of course, I can always add time to it. And basically, if I press 15, 30, or an hour, it's basically gonna update the time with whatever time that I add to it. So if I was to press 15, it added 15 minutes. And of course I can remove extra time right here at the very bottom. Once I press it, it goes back to 20 minutes. Okay, so if we scroll up, it does have check-in data and you are able to adjust how much data you want to show people. This particular feature right here has went viral on the internet because of just how much detail Apple gives the person that you check in with. As you can see in blue, it does say messages settings, and you can change that from full to limited, and I'm gonna show you that right now. So if I wanted to change the check-in data from full to limited, I would actually press the settings right here, and it takes me directly to check in data and I can turn that full data to limited data. And the only thing people will get is my battery percentage, my bars, and basically the battery percentage on the Apple Watch itself as well. It'll basically just show when I started the check-in and when I actually arrived to the location. Whereas if I set it to detailed, it's gonna give a detailed map and route and it's gonna show when I unlock my phone, my Apple Watch, when I unlock my Apple Watch, if I took my Apple Watch off. Basically more information for your wife or whomever to track you down if it ever comes to that unfortunate event that you are lost. So this is a very important feature that you wanna take advantage of. Okay, so now that we're back in, if I go to the tab right here, it's basically gonna prompt the person that you send that notification to or this particular check-in to and within the time frame that you set let's say i said uh 15 minutes after i get to the location if i don't respond it's going to send a detailed message to her to let her know exactly what happened if i'm delayed and getting to that location. So everything seems to be exactly the way i want it. So i'm going to press done at the top. As you can see, the address for the mall, what time I actually should arrive here. And I must have chosen walk because it says that ridiculous time. So we're gonna go back to edit and we're gonna put it back on drive, <laughs> press done. And as you can see, it adjusts itself and basically I send from here. And that's pretty much it. As soon as I arrive to the location, my sister will get a notification letting her know that I made it to my destination. I will say this, so far today, I've been out and about all day long and I have not gotten this check-in feature to work 
at all. Every time I got to the location, I walked inside, I walked in the parking lot, I walked within the store, all around the store, and I've never gotten it to detect when I actually arrived to the location, which is 100% not good. 